Hey, what's up you guys? This is Dad's 81 for ZHM Entertainment and I'm here doing another video review for my friends at Project Mayhem. Now today, I'm having a look at this superb piece. This is the Arkham Knight Batman figure by Hot Toys. It is part of the video game masterpiece series by Hot Toys. Now, this is a figure that I ordered a little while back and I was able to get through the benefit of a zero interest payment plan from my friends at Project Mayhem. Oh, 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 I have to say, such a beautiful figure. I popped out of here at work just lock myself in the office and uh, I'm having a very, very quick look at it for you. Now I will be doing another more comprehensive video review on my channel. I'll pop the details in the description below. In the meanwhile though, let's um, do a quick, um, shall we say, walk around the figure so I can tell you a little bit about it and also address some of the basic challenges that some people have. So here we go. Now, as you can see, this figure over here is based on the Arkham Knight video game and some people online have raised the fact that the armor, the way it's designed and sculpted on the figure, it varies slightly from the way it looks in the game. Now, I don't know what those people are smoking because, really speaking, I don't really see the difference myself. However, what I can tell you is that it is a brilliantly detailed and beautifully sculpted uh, piece. Now, the armor pieces themselves are plastic. It is a sort of rigid plastic. Now, while it looks amazing, um, it does act as a slight hindrance to motion, but I'm going to talk to you more about that slightly later in the video. In the meanwhile, though, let's talk about the utility belt on point as you can see and low still you can see the remainder of the costume now the pants is made of the same material as the rest of the costume it is this pleather like material now it's quite thick so it acts as a slight hindrance to movement again and also it might hold creases so you don't want to hold this thing in too many action poses for too long because it might damage the material uh, coming down here to the boots very very well sculpted they have a blue tinge on it um, it adds to the metallic luster but uh, I'll tell you more about that just now now as you see over here the base the base has the name of the game engraved on it together with the name of the character uh, I must say I'm very very happy with how this, uh, this 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 section came out oh the base also has some artwork from the game itself right now as we turn around over here let me just get the, try and get the camera in focus um, okay, not really making too much of a difference over there, but nonetheless, as you can see over here, the inner lining of the cape, it is a polyester cotton blend, and um, I wasn't able to catch it 100% here in this shot, but the cape itself now has a sort of um, shiny pleather to it with wires on the inside for posability, but I'll tell you about that again <laughs> towards the latter part of the video. There's a lot of shifting over here in this video, I think. Anyway, as you can see, the gauntlets are made out of the same rigid plastic with the same sort of uh, metallic blue luster we saw on the boots now what that does is it adds to the detail of the figure it's a very very nice touch um, I really wish we could have seen some more of this blue on the other black parts of the figure but it looks very 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 nice indeed now as a whole the figure looks amazing unfortunately due to the nature of the materials it's made with and the general bulk of the armor mobility and posability is slightly hindered but why it lacks in that it more than makes up for in its aesthetic appeal as you can see with this very somber looking Batman head sculpt now there are a series of accessories Series with the figure as you can see all the bells and whistles everything from the batarang to the line launches to the um, zip lines uh, your, I can't even remember what some of these accessories were called but you know it's all over there all the main accessories you saw him using in the game those are there as well but the one that really stood out to me is this one here the heads up display that comes out of his gauntlet and uh, with which he talks to the Oracle throughout the game and I really like the way they did that you know it's such a nice effect so practical <laughs> really cool now the hands right now I'm drawing special attention to the hands as you can see it's all the different hands you're going to need for using all the different um, accessories we've got an alternative face sculpt over there pretty cool and more hands on the other side now here's the thing you see the reason why I speak about the hands is because there have been some complaints about this figure and um, the fact that the hands tend to pop off uh, the figure itself. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to show you over here, right? See this hand over here and how right? Ah, okay, <laughs> it's gone, right? So yeah, now so so that's what the figure does, right? Um, the, the hands pop off fairly easily. Um, now, if you look on the other side of here, now I actually have fixed this one myself, so you can see it doesn't come out. Now I'm going to show you how you do it. Some people have complained. This is what you need to do. Let's talk about the hands themselves first. Now, as you can see over here, I just hope that the camera can pick it up. But there is a tiny little hole over there on the inside, and that there is where the wrist peg uh, fits in now if you look over here at the hand itself just want to take off the gauntlet right that slips off very easily 
if you can see over here that hole and the wrist peg need to come together once you pop it in it holds fairly securely so what you need to do is you just need to make sure that you get the wrist peg into the wrist peg hole not that difficult to do now i think the challenge is you see the gauntlets are fairly built up and once you pop that on it's difficult to get the the, 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 the wrist peg into the wrist hole so here's how you're going to do it now what you want to do is you just want to get this wrist peg um shade you're going to pop the gauntlet on like so and you want to carry on pushing it up just until you know it can't go any further you'll see there's some bunching up over there at the top of the forearm that's fine don't worry about that now just get slightly closer okay let's make the disc peg nice and straight once again there we go right and what you're going to do is you can see that little piece over there right now it's exposed fairly nicely you're going to take this wrist and you're going to pop it over there this peg into wrist hole and then slide the gauntlet down now what that does is it makes sure that it goes in properly right you can see the bunching up fades away and voila as you can see with it the wrist peg holds on to the wrist and it doesn't pop off anymore it's easy as that now um some people uh get a bit concerned with hot toys you know because you know it's so expensive so you don't really want to futz around with it too much so people get a bit worried about doing these things but you know it's just action figure maintenance um with a little bit of doing you shouldn't have a problem now last but not least i just want to talk about that cape once again i remember i was telling you about how the cape had the um shiny pleather on the outside and the polyester cotton blend on the inside and of course the wires i just want to show you where the wires are as you can see the cape spreads are pretty wide where are these things um okay yeah okay wait so it spreads out fairly wide and um because of that okay yeah okay right so the wires are inside of here right now there are three wires um there's one over here there's one where is this thing now uh, where, okay right right there here at the bottom right yeah so there's a piece over here at the top there's a piece over here at the bottom and uh it's the same and on the other side so basically three wires in total and as you can see it sort of just has the cape flared out slightly now unfortunately because of the strength of the wires they're not that strong it doesn't hold the cape up you know it, it, it's 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 impossible for the wires to support the weight of the cape so this is about as far as you're going to get it sped out which is a little bit cheese ball i really wish that it was going to be slightly stronger so you could get those flared cape um poses but uh well i guess you could get a custom third party cape for that but here's how you're going to pose it right you can get some nice poses out of it here's the trick that i use right so what i do is you need to make sure that you know how you know cape physics work and yes that's an actual thing so what you're going to do is you're going to bend the wires right okay this is what i do right i bunch the wires together all right and um i bend it how i want it i let it go and then you can see now it has it sort of like this uh windswept look to it right then once that's done all i need to do then is so that so that's the basic form right and then what i do after that then is i just play around with it slightly just to get the other pieces where i need them to go and uh, in doing so as you can see I, I tend to like those twisted blowing poses um or other um positions for the cape um so it gives it sort of like that windswept look you know and um yeah so the cape is not perfect i mean not by any means no but it is you know uh light years ahead of some of the previous capes we've seen from hot toys and uh yeah there you go you know with a little bit of fiddling around you can get some pretty cool poses of there so yeah i'm quite happy for the inclusion of that um and uh, with a little bit of doing i'm pretty sure you'll have a good time with it too anyway it's an amazing figure go out and grab it if you'd like to get a figure like this or other figures of this type you can chat to our friends from project mayhem and you can talk to them about zero interest payment plans and yeah you know just visit the website and you can get more details about that so i will chat to you guys soon bye